Good, Good morning. morning. <laughs> Last episode, you saw us leave the uh, River Thames and join the Ken and Avon Canal. <laughs> We've now made it to Thatcham yeah. and we're on the visitor moorings there. Uh, we're near a quite mm. loud and very busy level crossing. Yeah, the train station's just a few hundred yards away from us, isn't it? <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't realise when we moored up here. But, oh, uh, there's, there's a train much, now. <laughs> not much choice. Didn't realise quite how busy it was uh, until we were, we'd been moored here for about 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> never mind, safety first. Uh, but I don't think we'll miss the sirens. No, every warning time sirens a, going off. a train comes, a siren goes to lower the barriers and within 10 minutes, the siren goes to lower the barriers again. It really was about every 10 minutes, yeah. wasn't it? So yeah, won't miss that. So we're setting off today. And over the next couple of days, we're hoping to get to Kingbury. That would be about 10 miles, 13 locks. We've had a look in the book. It's quite a long way. It's a long way. So we're going to break up the journey by stopping at Newbury, which is about halfway. Um, although I don't think we want to spend too much time in Newbury. Uh, I think we're enjoying, enjoying being out in the country a bit too much. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So when we set off today, we've got a lock coming up, and it's a very special lock. It is a very special lock. It is, <laughs> and we went to check it out yesterday. So this is Monkey Marsh Lock. This is one of only two remaining um, turf-sided locks on the canal, uh, the Kennet and Avon Canal that we're on. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any anywhere else. Perhaps somebody can let us know if there is. But. Um, we did the previous one, Garston Lock, uh, when we came through Reading and came out that end. So, uh, yeah, we've got this one to do. So when we got to the lock, we noticed that one of the paddles had been left up, one of the gate paddles. Um, and then we realised that this lock has to be left empty um, to preserve the sides, which is originally was turf. It's, this um, different sorts of planting now but because the gates leak at the other end it is a good idea to leave the paddle open and then it keeps the lock empty as it should be kept unless it's in use. So soon after the lock there's the swing bridge so we also went to check that out. <laughs> um, we met with quite a surprise there weren't we? <laughs> Some local cows had uh, escaped and <laughs> they were all over the towpath and uh, the swing bridge. Um, we've reported it to the Canal and River Trust, uh, or you did, didn't you? Yeah. And uh, I think they're going to try and get hold of the local farmer uh, to see if they can get them back under control. Mm. Uh, and then we can hopefully get through it if they've all gone. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping they're not going to still be there today or it'll make yeah. life very interesting. <laughs> So it's a bit breezy today. We've done the engine check, so we're still going to be cruising. <laughs> yes. So uh, let's go. Let's do it.
decided to walk to the next lock. It's not just around the corner, but it's not too far neither. Uh, somewhere on the other side of this uh, bank of reeds is uh, our boat, but you wouldn't know. <laughs> keeps trying to drift over to the other side. And I'm pulling on the rope, but I'm not sure he's doing much anyway. I'm just going through the three bridge now, we're on the outskirts of Newbury. Looks like it's rush hour again. I'm on my own, Andy's gone ahead, walked through Newbury, he's gone to the lock, uh, Newbury Top Lock maybe it's called, 
Um, so I'm just coming through the town centre now, uh, where all the swans are. Coming up to the place on the left is where we had our tea and coffee yesterday, when we sat outside in the sunshine. Completely different day today. No sunshine, not yet anyway. Just going through all the swans, having their morning bath. I'm walking ahead and setting the locks for Steve. I've just got to Cop's lock and in the book it tells us that to be careful because the River Kennet joins from the right just when you get uh, just before the lock. So I'm gonna set the lock and open the gate ready for Steve to drive straight in uh, without hanging about. Although to be honest there doesn't seem to be much of a flow on the river as it joins but uh, better safe than sorry. I'll take it back. There was quite a flow on the uh, river as it comes in. You can see the boat being pushed round. Uh, Steve seems to have managed uh, to negotiate it and we're getting into the lock now.
So we made it to Kintbury. We did. Long cruise today. It's been a long cruise, hasn't it? About five hours. We set off in Newbury, from Newbury, in the rain. Yes, yeah. And the wind. About five and a half, it was windy actually, yeah. about five and a half hours ago. Only seven locks, but uh, each one seemed to have its own challenge, didn't it? Yeah, we had to do them very slow because we're going up each one. So we just took it steadily and, um, and here we are. It's beautiful. Once we got past Newbury, Newbury wasn't too bad for us, to be fair. No, it was uh, all right. We moored just before the town centre, uh, quiet area. Um, I think there was a little boatyard um, just below us at the bottom of the lock. And um, a couple that we met, that was um, Lee and Becky. Lee and Becky, yeah. Yeah, we're having their boat black there. So uh, they're new boaters, so a big shout out to them. So, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Um, if you have, give us a thumbs up. Um, hit the bell icon and then you'll be notified of any uh, more vlogs that we do. And what's the other bit? <laughs> <laughs> I think, that's it? Like, subscribe. Oh, oh subscribe. I didn't say subscribe. Like, subscribe and hit the, and bell, hit the bell icon. icon. Like, <laughs> subscribe and hit the bell icon. I can't even remember those three things. Oh, well, it's only been a few years. We'll get there. Yeah, we need an idiot card the other side <laughs> of the camera. So an idiot lines. card or a Steve card. Andy's lines. Mm. And then we'll get it right. <laughs> so any comments, we always like to read them. So yes. uh, drop them down below and we'll reply to them all. Thank you very much. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for Bye now. Bye for now.